I believe we have to respect our medicinal plants. We have to respect this earth for what it produces for us. been on the landscape. As far as the archaeological record goes, for, uh, based on radiocarbon dating and the tools and uh, weapons and things, go, uh, is uh, 12,000 years. We got our food from the animals and the plants and the berries, and uh, we respected that land as a matter of survival. Land basin based teachings is all about the land itself. And when I, I, I invite children, students, teachers, parents to come and understand that, it's not me just telling them, it's the nature. And land-based teachings is more of a hands-on rather than just sitting there listening to you, someone, or looking at, you know, the screen to, to observe. You know, survey your land and see what's there, the richness and uh, the wealth of uh, especially medicines and save those plants because you can't transplant them for future use and if you just remove them then um, what have you got there's nothing left you know the the, the whole landscape is imbued with uh, knowledge and history and um, the story of the Blackfoot people. Uh, I, I bring a lot of students and children and teachers out to these sites and share the origin, the creation stories, and the actual location of these places. For the Métis, uh, Lake St. Anne is so dear to all of us because that's where our spirit is and our, um, our ancestors you have to be there at the site of the story to get a better grasp and feel of it. And the kids are just spiritually moved and they're, they're, uh, it's a real good life learning lesson. So it's just been so rewarding for the children and for my heart. <laughs> So two of our First Nations and one of our Métis settlements actually provide land-based learning for our students and this is completely done by the elders and knowledge keepers. And all the time our elders are talking to us about um, all the different teachings that the children will go through in that program so that our teachers can uh, embed that into their other curriculum pieces. Every time we have an elder in to come and do professional development for us, it's always about or, or comes down to the land and that's what I say to principals it comes down to the land if you'd like to have really effective learning try and do it in in the environment being able to go outside and learn our practices like how to make bannock how to hunt how to bead how to make our regalia for our dances I believe strongly we should be learning this already and when you go out in a land base, you, you connect to nature. You create that balance where, where you could feel, touch, and see. And that's, you know, that's the uniqueness about land-based teaching is that you want to make that connection. Because ideally, na nature will put you in your place and make you realize who you are as a human being. And that we can walk in this world in harmony, not only with each other, but with nature.